<clears throat> Hello. This title is not a lie, I genuinely have the best gear build. Let me explain. While some people do preach their obnoxious 1900 health builds, I preach only truth. My build is cracked, so let's get into it. Here's the build, and I'll give, I'll give you an explanation on why I picked the pieces I did. So obviously, beginning with the sunken set, is the highest defense stats and provides the most attack size, so it's an excellent choice for armor set. Although, don't worry about getting sunken armor, I'll explain why soon. I picked the Karina pauldrons, because they give power and attack speed to important the stats that I need, of course. This makes up for the sunken armor that giving defense and size two of the four of the stats. Although, pauldrons are interchangeable with the folds, I just didn't have folds when I made the build. The power amulet is a no-brainer, giving the most power in the game for an accessory, and a must-have for, mo uh, must for most builds. And of course, Cernix folds to balance out my attack speed and defense a bit more. I use them for just about every build I make. So this build has 69 power, nice of course, 625 defense, 42 attack speed, and 62 is sack size. But not everyone has the sunken set, which is the backbone of this excellent build. I spent some time studying the wiki, and I've thought of an alternate build, not using sunkens, and let me tell you, it was really difficult to come up with this one. So the alternate build uses Cernix chestplate and Calvux leggings, which just mix all the four stats, really. And uh, the Cernix amulet for, the, for defense and attack speed. And uh, you use both Calvus accessories, the crown and the cape, and... With this, uh, with this build, you're going to want to use two strong enchantments, uh, two hard enchantments, and one bursting enchantment. This alternate build, though, loses some stats, of course, not having the superior sunken gear, which is just amazing to have now that I have the set. In this build, you have 59 power as opposed to 69 power. You have 579 defense as opposed to 625. You have 57 attack size as opposed to 62 and 39 attack speed compared to the 42 in the main build. So obviously this build is going to be of course worse than the, the main sunken one. But it's also, it's also an incredible alternative which, um, which is as close you can, as you can pretty much get. And it's, really much, and it's really amazing, given that it doesn't use any sunkens uh, whatsoever, and it doesn't even have, uh, like, full strong and hard enchants together, it has a bursting too. Copy the build if you want. 